Shotguns are a category in most FPS games, and unfortunately, ruin a lot of them too. However, in Phantom Forces in particular, shotguns are hailed for their ability to make everyone leave a server, and 9 out of 10 doctors agree that using them will also increase the feeling of loneliness. However, I intend to dip my toes into the waters of this lifestyle and find the answer for myself. Are Phantom Forces shotguns actually that overpowered? And to find the answer, I have chosen three different shotguns with three different ways of operating, and will be using both stock ammo and slugs to give each of them a chance with their own varying use cases. So, let's get into it. So, for the shotguns that we're going to go over, we're going to go over the Stevens DB, which is a double barrel shotgun, the KS-23M, which is a pump action shotgun, and the USAS-12 for being both a semi-automatic and a fully automatic shotgun, which is magazine fed. I know someone's going to shout, what about the, the DBV-12? It's semi-automatic and magazine fed. Yeah, okay, well, this is getting a video of its own in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. So, if you know anything about the Stevens DB, you'll know that it is a ton of fun. Plus, it can also do 288 maximum damage, uh, not including the headshot multiplier, which makes it even more. Also, not including the instant burst that it has, but that's that's for later. Having 36 damage and 12.7 damage per pellet, depending on the distance, um, is kind of overpowered, I'm gonna be honest. And I guess having the availability of two barrels, does that, does that mean that it's... Could this be classified as a semi-auto shotgun because it has two shots? I wonder. Having the availability of just having two shots at your disposal is probably going to be pretty helpful. I know it is for me, and it makes me happy. Mmm, yes, two barrels. And with this shotgun in particular, it's just like a, a bit of nostalgia if you've pl ever played like Call of Duty World at War or anything like that. Boom. Boom. Yay. I love Coach Gun. Oh my god. <laughs> You can kind of snipe with it there, too. Hi! That should have been a triple collat. Come on now. Come on now. The hit marker was there. Don't look at me like that. Another kind of sniping kill, dude. Like, this thing has so much damage at its disposal. And again, by adding the instant burst, we can make it a heck of a lot more. But it makes it, like, a lot more effective of a sniper. Because, frankly, like the KS-23 that we're going to get onto, no spoilers, in itself is kind of a sniper. Also, double collat. My dude, where is everybody hiding? It is so quiet right now. Hello? Hello? There's corpses. I don't see any people, though. There's one. Oh, I've done it now. I'm going to lay here for a moment. The level zero wins again. Good for him. Now, of course, we're going to be going with slugs because, like I said, that's going to be the second use case, especially for the Stevens DB. That's going to make this a lot of fun. Of course, to utilize this fully, we're going to put on the burst mode. And I'm just going to show you before we look at damage numbers or anything what this thing is capable of. Um, hello? <laughs> Damage? Uh, <laughs> where, where'd you go, buddy? There we go. Yeah, I mean... You're gonna pretty much see here in a moment that uh, this is basically just a BFG that reloads faster. Goodbye. Poor man just looked away last second. That is that is very unfortunate. <laughs> foot shot. The fatal foot shot. <laughs> the fatal foot shot. My favorite. Yeah, Um, I'm gonna have to look at some stats here in a second because I, I have to show you just how ridiculous this thing is. Okay, so up to a solid 37.5 studs. We are doing 99 damage per slug. Uh, what? Not including torso and headshot multipliers, by the way, which, uh, up to 37.5 studs is a guaranteed one shot. Uh, a little beyond that, even. Minimum damage here, too, being 41.44, with the torso multiplier of 1.25, brings your damage up to a solid 51.8 damage. D do you know where I'm going with this? Because with the burst mode, you're firing two shots. Uh, I don't think I can really spell it out anymore than that uh basically it is going to be a guaranteed one shot to the torso at any range it is it is just a bfg that reloads i, I assume a little faster but all right so next on the list we're going to actually go over the ks23m which is actually unlocked earlier so i probably should have gone over that first but uh steven's db is silly now, for the KS-23M, we have the same number of pellets, that being 8. However, we're doing a little bit more damage at just about 300, 296 to be specific, and 128 at range. But instead, we get a total of 4 rounds instead of 2, but we have to pump the shotgun after each shot. However, we are getting basically about the same spread. The difference being, though, you are getting a lot more damage, and you're getting double the magazine capacity. The KS-23M has been hailed as, like, one of those shotguns that's just, like, super overpowered because of the fact that it has such high damage, you can snipe very easily with it. And to prove that, we're taking it to the, uh, we're taking it to one of the larger maps in the game. <laughs> one Tap Kingdom, baby. Let's go. Now, I think that's gonna be a bit of a stretch. I, not a single shot. Okay, that's, that's a stretch. <laughs> he's already dead. That, that might explain why he's not firing at me. Hello, corpses. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see you here. 
Is this what birth is like? I don't know nothing about that though, but what I do know is that this is doing quite the opposite of birth right now. I would even say that I'm kind of unbirthing people, bro, with the KS23M. Honestly, this thing is, it is wild. Bro, like a wild Pokemon that you just kind of can't capture. I'm gonna be honest. How are they gonna stop me, bro? How are they gonna stop me? It's just too much power. <laughs> just too much power with this thing. It can only go so far with just using the stock ammo. So for that, we're going to slap on the slugs, which instead of being called slugs is the barricada, barracuda, barra, barra, barracuda. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. I want to just see if it has the same power as like the uh, Stevens DB, though. I highly doubt it. Wow. He died without even me getting a hit marker. Must have been that kinetic energy I hear so much about. Definitely not a teammate stealing my kill again. No, no, no. That didn't even hit. That hit, but didn't kill. That missed. That also missed. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have a 74 maximum with a 60 minimum damage. Of course, yeah, I, I, have, the, I have the long barrel on it, but the long barrel shortens the damage range. Uh, okay. So normal barrel then we'll, we'll go with 30 studs. We're doing 74 damage, 150. We're doing 60. We do have a 1.5 torso multiplier. So with a torso shot, bare minimum damage that we're going to be doing with this is 90. And of course, point blank, we're going to be able to one shot fairly reliably with it again, including the torso multiplier, not the obscenely high four times headshot multiplier. So if we just, for instance, were to, uh, were to slap on a ballistics tracker and then slap on maybe a, uh, Barska Electra, and we were to say, find somebody who's standing still, we can cross map headshot. <laughs> no way. I mean, assuming that somebody's taken at least 10 damage too, that would make this fairly consistent for, uh, for one shots. Like, of course, consistent being if they've already taken, uh, 10 damage, but, you know, point blank though. <laughs> You're hitting them torso shots. You're going to be getting those easy kills. This isn't nearly as good of a sniper as something like the, the I almost said the BFG, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but it's not nearly as good as like the Stevens DB, but because the Stevens DB has burst. So I know that there's a ton of other conversions to go over and maybe at some point I will review them because these recently got a makeover and I really haven't looked at them yet. Oh, except for the... Oh, except for the harpoon. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. But the KS-23M is, is kind of always just good. It's just one of those guns that's like, it exists. And if you use it, you can be really good with it. With really not having to put in much time or effort to learn it. <sighs> However, we've come to the fateful end of our saga here with the USAS-12. The most, in my opinion at least, overpowered shotgun in the entire game. Firing at 450 RPM, full auto, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> doing 160 damage with all pellets landing, 20 damage per pellet. So all that it takes is five pellets and you got your easy kill all the way up to 35 studs. That's kind of overpowered. Like I said, we've also got ourselves a 10 round detachable box magazine here, which allows for us to um miss apparently. We won't miss this guy though. Bye bye. What? I'm, I'm just not going to question that. Uh, <laughs> do over. Yeah, there's just something so satisfying about fully auto shotguns in this game. Really any game for that matter, but like Phantom Forces in particular, it just, they, they feel like such like, you ever see like those satisfying compilations of like sand being squished? That's what it's like to use this thing. And for like the rank, what is it? Like rank 196 or something that it is unlocked at? Like it better be. Ow. My God, that was a lot of suppression. Oh, the level two. No. He's at like the top of their scoreboard. Okay. Oh, he's level three now. Congrats. I'm so proud. This is going to be less of a sniper than the other two. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, mostly from the fact that they make the spread on this thing absolutely horrendous to, I'd assume to combat the fact that it's just, it is what it is. But if these guys just get a little closer. Oh, oh, we found a man. He has stolen my weapon. But if we get people just a little bit closer up like that, it just makes it, 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 oh my God, I can't explain it. It is fun. I've been in this new lobby for like two minutes now or something. And like, I haven't seen a single person yet. They're all hiding, dude. They know what's coming. You can only hide for so long. And again, well, you can't really snipe with it super well. Uh, I mean, you'll do, you'll still do a fair bit of damage. <sighs> all right. All right. Well, we get the point though. New SAS 12 fully auto shotgun, fairly overpowered especially at closer ranges. So what if we try and turn it into a sniper? A lot of super low levels today and a lot of crazy ping, apparently. What the, what was that guy doing? All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to throw on slugs and I'll, I'll throw on an iron sight as well because the irons on this look cool, but they're not very good. Where is a good sight? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh, definitely not, actually. Reflex will do. So we got slugs on this. We still get a 10 round magazine. As you can see, we get a single slug and I've died instantly. Okay. So for this, we're getting a lot less damage than the last two. We're getting a maximum of 55 with a minimum of 39 and a lot smaller multipliers. For instance, with this, the maximum that we're getting is 66 damage up to 17 studs. So unfortunately for us, this is not going to be one of those crazy one shot weapons. Of course, unless you get a headshot. But does that mean that it's bad? I'm going to go with no. I'm, I'm going to go with no on that. Wall bang, let's go. Wall bang, let's go. Um, damage? <laughs> Where, where'd you go, buddy? 78, and I freaking sniped him and got a headshot. 78 damage. Still, not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, there's a couple of dudes. There's a couple of dudes down there I don't want to mess with. Let's do it. Let's throw on the ballistics tracker. I'll spend the last of my credits on it. Ooh, sick one tap. Let's go. Happy days, boys. Happy days. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm not sure too much how I feel about slugs on this. It, to be fair, part of it is like the fact that I'm just kind of missing a lot of my shots, but also because damage is reduced so much, and this is more of like a close-up, like kind of shotgun anyway, it just seems like it's not super needed to have slugs on this. Dare I say even, I guess, impractical. Can it still work up close? Sure, but like when you have the stock ammo, you're going to get a lot more damage up close than slugs. It's still kind of cool, though. Let me get all this clutter off my screen. It's still kind of cool, though. Uh, very interesting build. I'm going to reset that actually, but, uh, a fun shotgun, definitely pretty cool. But what do I think about these though, in general? Like as far as shotguns go, I think that these are all fantastic. I think that you'll be really hard pressed to find any shotgun in the shotgun category, except for maybe this, but that's, that's for another day. <laughs> you'll be hard pressed to find anything that's like actually not that good. Everything in the shotgun category is just, for the most part, fantastic. I'd say personally, out of the three, my favorite in terms of variety is probably going to have to be the Stevens DB. Like, KS-23M is a close second for me, just because of the fact that it's just such a good, like, sniper shotgun, even with the stock ammo. But Stevens DB, like, it's got the different fire modes, and it's just, it's just a classic, bro. I mean, look at this. Look at this freaking thing right here. This looks great. But in terms of, like, raw overpoweredness, raw damage... Just the ability to make everyone mad. The USAS 100% takes the cake, dude. Like, the, whenever they first added this to the test place, I was like, there's no way that they're keeping that in the game. That is that is busted beyond belief. But uh, little did I know, they did. And uh, to my knowledge, this has yet to receive a nerf. So uh, do with that what you will. <laughs> when I say they're all overpowered, though, no. Every shotgun in this game is going to have its own limitations, from fire rate, to magazine capacity, to having two barrels with two rounds, not even a magazine. If anything, auto shotguns are basically just like large upscaled SMGs. Like that's pretty much someone, someone's got, <laughs> thank you. I was, I was on a bit of a rampage there. My bad, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think the whole shotgun overpowered meme is a little bit overblown. Like I think they can maybe use a little bit of tweaking, but for the most part, I don't think it's that big of an issue. However, um, there is one thing. There is one thing that I failed to mention with this though. Uh, talking about magazine capacity and fully auto then overpoweredness. And I, I think you know where this is going. Yeah, why did they give this a drum? There is no reason for the AA-12 to, <laughs> to be the way that it is, bruh. Like, they just deliberately made this decision. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know why they do this. I don't know why they do this. Well, as usual, if you ended up enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you haven't already, become a channel member like these wonderful, wonderful people up on screen here. You'll help financially support the channel and keep me making videos just like these. And if you ended up enjoying this one as well, and you're already subscribed, or you just found my channel, hello, welcome, by the way, consider watching the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen. I got a ton of videos in there, literally days worth of binge-worthy content. And I guarantee you, you're gonna have fun. All right, uh, <laughs> with that said, let me know your thoughts below and enjoy your day. Peace. Subscribe for more. We've got a perfect visual right into it. Oh, we, oh, what the? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Scary ghost. I don't think bro survived. <laughs>